Yo, 2013 Honda CRV. I'm gonna do a front pad slap on this. These are so amazingly quick and easy, I can't even understand why people pay somebody to do it. There's not enough wear or rust on these rotors, and they don't pulsate, so I really don't need to worry about it. I got ceramic pads, because they don't make noise. I don't like noise complaints, and they work good enough. I'm going to pull this in with a C-vise. I just get it to touch the brake pad in the front and then the caliper on the rear and I just squeeze it. I suppose if you need to you could probably use a C-clamp and do the same thing. You can, you can also just take it off and push in the pistons. It's a dual piston caliper though so you got to hold one while you squeeze in the other or squeeze in both at the same time use a brake pad or something. But I just do it this way so I don't have to mess around too much. Yeah, it moves really nice. The caliper pistons still aren't in all the way, so I can get in here with a regular screwdriver and just pull it in some more. I just pulled it back so I'm 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 actually pushing on the pads, the brake pad to push in both of these pistons all the way. There, I pushed them in until they wouldn't go in any farther. And I can just take a 14 millimeter get these two bolts off. Sometimes you gotta hold on to the caliper slide the pin or it'll just turn with it. When I take this when I take this caliper off these are spring-loaded pads so they're gonna come flying out. Oh that was no fun. They didn't fly out on me because of these little spring-a-ding-ding -ding things. Can take those off. I got new abutment clips. I can just peel these out with a screwdriver. I want to check these pins and make sure they slide really nice. I already do. I already know they do. And um, I just want to make sure they're good and lubricated. I could put um, dielectric grease on these if I really wanted to, but they're so nice. You got to make sure that this ceiling surface isn't all rusted up. If it is, it's going to get water in there. But they look really nice. I just kind of pull it out and move it around and just make sure that lubricant gets mixed up in there real good. Since I inspected them and they look beautiful, because this is a really low mileage nice car, I push this in. You can see there's air in, in this boot. So I got to push this in and just push it up and it pushes that air out. It's called burping a boot. Now I can put these new abutment clips in. They just snap in. Um, one thing you got to make sure of is that there's two little tangs right here. These two little notches. They sit on the inside of the scalper support bracket. And if it doesn't feel right, which this one isn't, you just got to kind of get a screwdriver in there and push them in real nice. So they sit in there real good. Usually there's brake lubricant that comes with your brake pads. I got some in a bottle. You just want to swab some on these pistons. If these are all rusted and, and they got high spots in them too, you want to clean all that off. But there's no rust on this thing. It looks really nice, so I don't have to clean anything. Some people might say you need to lube these abutment clips. I never do. The dealer doesn't either. And then on your pads, you got a little wear indicator on one pad. Well, actually two pads in a set. And you want those on the inside. Generally, you want it on the top. But this one won't let me because for some reason, this one's on the top on the other side and the bottom on this side. They probably got packaged wrong or something, but it's just a wear indicator, so I'm, I'm not even going to sweat over it. I'm just going to stick the thing in here. You want to make sure they move really nice, and they do, you know, slide really nice. If they don't, you probably got rust underneath these abutment clips or something's binding up, and you got to take it all off and make it clean so they move really good. If they don't if they don't move really good you're gonna get premature brake wear sometimes your pedal feel isn't gonna be right 
And I got new spring-a-ding things. These are fun. You gotta hold on to the pad while you put these in. So when you do this, you always wanna have a hand on it. Put this caliper on. I just gotta make sure the hose isn't twisted. Make sure you don't twist that hose. This pin's moving a little bit on me. So I can stick a 19 millimeter wrench on this square. Make sure the caliper moves really nice. I already know the pads move nice. I can see them moving in there. And you just put the tire on and you pump up the pedal a bunch. Then when the pedal feels good, then you drive it away. Okay, bye.